Here we find an amazing outcrop, and we have to ask a simple question. How did this get formed? This is a hard sandstone, both red and white areas. How did this sand that was all loose originally turn into a rock? And how do we get different colors in the same rock? There's no way erosion can form this. It can't create both white and red clay stone. It just doesn't happen, or sandstone. And not only that, but how do the clay and sand turn into a rock? Well, the answer is in the hydroplanet model. And in the hydroplanet model and the universal flood model, we actually use an experiment to show how rocks are made. And rocks are made in a hypertherm. The nice thing about a hypertherm is that it gives us the exact numbers that are needed to form quartz and other crystals. And what we need is at least 14,000 PSI pressure. We need about 375 degrees Celsius. And we, when we put these in, in what we call an autoclave, which is a pressurized environment with the right amount of air and a couple other things, it's like a recipe. Once we have all these things together, then what we can do is actually make rock. And now we show how all these were made, which was in a hypertherm. And of course, this, this breaks down over time, but these two things mix together and they give you a different color rock. This is why when we look at streams, we find all the different colors of rocks. Well, this isn't a bunch of different. This is red and that's white. It all was formed together in the flood and when you have the right conditions of pressure and temperature, then we're able to form this kind of rock. 